Hi everybody, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Cricut Craft Room to weld some pieces together and make shaped cards. Really, really super simple and you can make some amazing stuff. So I'm going to go into the cartridges and I'm going to search for an image. Actually, I already searched for it before. I was searching for Mickey and I noticed something new in Cricut Craft Room. Look at these little green indicators here. They show that this is a link cartridge. So let's say if I were looking for something else, let's say Easter. All of my link cartridges are displayed first and the ones that are not linked, in other words, I don't have access to them or I haven't purchased them, they're not in my subscription or whatever, they don't have that green link symbol. So I know that all of these I can use and I can cut them. So that's really, really helpful. So I'm going to go back to finding Mickey. And of course, you'd need to have the cartridge to be able to do this. To make my card, I'm going to use one of these shadow shapes because it works better when you don't have all kinds of little pieces in the middle of your card. But I want it to be very obvious what the shape is. So let's see what I can find. Here we go. Here's the Mickey shape that I want. So I'm going to close the drawer. I'm going to take away this Mickey head. Mind you, if I wanted to use this, I'm going to show you what you can do. You just need to hide the contour of certain lines. So I'm going to hide this, 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 this. All these little pieces in here, I'll hide those lines so that they don't cut. I need to be sure that the red is showing and then I can click and delete all those little pieces. There we go. They're all done. So that when I exit, you see, whoops, there was one left. That's what I thought. This one right over here. Okay, there we go. And that's it. So you see a shadow is already set that way. You wouldn't have to do that. So I'm not going to use this one because the head is much cuter to use as a card. And I'm going to rotate it just slightly so that the ears are on top. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it and then I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to flip it vertically and I'm going to need to rotate a little bit so that the ears are matching right up. A little bit less. Bring that over here and then I it will automatically weld. It will show you that and if you like that, it's good. And if you wanted it maybe a little bit more so that those pieces won't tear, you could do that and weld it. So there, it's done. So then you cut this out. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I need to choose everything if I want to move it up over to here in my corner so I don't waste too much paper. And then when I cut this out, when I'm done, I'm just going to take a bone folder and score right over here and right over here. And then I can fold my card and it will be a card of a Mickey head. And then I can decorate the front whatever way I like. I could use the original cut to do that. I can use pieces from the cartridge and it would be very cute. Hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.